Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Torterra's learning some bulldoze. Little Spiro being flung by a choir and folks dressed up like past comma nose. Wow, that's harder to think on the spot than I thought. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Pokemon Radical Red Christmas Lock. I'm Flash Ketchum, and today we are jumping into Viridian Forest to take on some new encounters uh, with some gym... No, not gym leaders. What am I talking about? Rival fights, uh, random trainers that have Pokemon that are way higher level than they should be. Anyway, this is Radical Red. I'm Flash Ketchum, and we're jumping into this today. Uh, since we do have all the encounters we can get for now, I think I'm going to level up our Pokemon to the level cap. Which, by the way, if you're watching this and you haven't watched part one, uh, make sure you go back and watch that. Uh, cause I go over all the rules and stuff and we, we were just having a great time. But anyway, this is a Christmas lock, so what I'm doing in this episode is, or in this series I should say, is I'm basically catching Pokemon that are Christmas or holiday themed. Uh, like this Qfent here is a white elephant, right? Uh, so our priority of Pokemon is, is it holiday themed? Yes, then we can catch it. If it's not holiday themed, is it red or green? Yes, then we can catch it. And if nothing else, uh, is it an ice or a grass type? And lastly, we have the option to get uh, three ghosts in the entire run. One of which is Ghosts of Christmas Past, Christmas Present, and Christmas Future. Um, I think I've decided that we're not going to do permadeath just because, like, I feel like our selection of Pokemon is going to be so limited. Um, we're going to end up skipping encounters a lot. So I think it's just going to be hard to do. Um, but let me know if you think we should accept gift Pokemon, uh, if those count towards our holiday themed team. Because, you know, gifts, Christmas, all, well, so many holidays give gifts. Uh, let's go with Icy Wind Double Power Sun. Yeah. It's hard for me to multitask. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are the rules. Um, also, just the same, like... Uh, only one Pokemon per route if we fail the encounter, as in we kill it or we don't catch it, then we don't get another Pokemon that route. Um, so we're going to play it like a Nuzlocke. I don't know. We'll see how the permadeath thing goes out. I'm open to either argument on, on those. Gosh, this Pokemon sucks. Uh, <laughs> but let's jump into it here. Uh, I'm excited to, to see what other encounters lie ahead for us. Uh, we are going to fight our rival here, who leads with a Corefish and a Trico. So why don't we lead Dasher? I like that. You're adamant with 46 attack. Wow. That feels really high. Yeah, let's, let's lead you. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So if you've never played Radical Red before, this is basically a fan-made game that is a mod of Fire Red version. I almost said Radical Red again. It's a mod of Fire Red version that's got Pokemon all the way up to Gem 9. Gen 9. Um, it's got Mega Evolution. Uh, Pokemon that have Gigantamax forms from Sword and Shield essentially have Mega Stones. Oh, look at Vulpix following us around. That's so cute. Um, so there's just a ton of cool, like, quality of life improvements. It's honestly probably my favorite Pokemon game ever. Ever, ever. And I'm talking more than Pokemon Troze. Oh, I thought that was shiny for a half a second. Uh, okay, this lady has a bunch of normal types. So we're just gonna... We're gonna rock out with our socks out, you know what I mean? And by sock, I mean our favorite blue fighting type Pokemon from Gen 5. What are you, what are you thinking of? Let's go for a mock punch on you. Oh, that's doing a lot. Oh, oh dear god. 
That's doing a lot. Yo, what if we go... What if we go imposter year? Clefairy. Oh, remember I just said I had a new rule where I was not using the speed up button during fights? Watch this thing get V-Create. Spiderweb, that's fine. Okay, I'm taking my time here. I'm taking my time. Um, let's just go for a Bulldoze. Actually, I should have gone for Taunt, because then I think that blocks Metronome. We'll do that this turn. There's the Worry Seed. I can't sleep now. Hey, that's like me in real life. Oh, why did I read that as taunt? That's tackle, my dude. Reading is hard, you know. I'm a musician. I didn't go to school to read. Oh, you're drinking milk. That's holiday theme. Santa does that. Santa does that. I'll allow it. There's the metronome. Skill swap, and now you have insomnia. How does that feel? Now you're going to stay up every night thinking about all the things you messed up in throughout your life. And lastly, we've got an Audino coming out. I've got a plan for this, because I'm pretty sure it has exactly zero attacking moves. We're going to lower your speed. You're going to yawn me, so I'm going to switch out. And I'm going to Taunt. Now you fell for the taunt. Uh, and I'm going to go back into White Elephant, because you're going to struggle. And I'm going to Rock Smash. That's thinking with portals. Now we have our infinite repel. We don't need to worry about accidentally encountering things anymore. Uh, we can go down here and fight this lady to get a TM. And looking at the Pokemon we have, I think we're going to need every TM we can find straight up. Uh, yeah, this thing kind of booty bops my team. I think I'm going to grab Christmas Pass instead of Chingling. Actually, wait, does Chingling evolve by friendship? Because that would actually save us a lot. Evolves with high happiness at night. Let's do that right now. Uh, you're still going to be a Jingle Bell. I'm glad I just remembered that right now. Because I do not want to be stuck with a Chimeco, I'll tell you that much right now. <laughs> Pokemon is, uh, not good. Let's see, let's make you friendly by feeding you, which is, by the way, the best way to make friends. Or if you're trying to flirt with somebody, get closer to them, make them food. If they really like you, they won't say no, and they'll be so happy that you made food for them. Alright, now... Now we'll rare candy it up. And there's our jingle bell once again. Hopefully you have a better ability too. Pretty bad. I would even say that's super ass tier. Yeah, I said it. I said it. I'm still swapping you out. <laughs> After all that. Uh, I just think Dublade's gonna be better. Uh, sure, I'll learn Pursuit over Tackle. Cool. Alright. Uh, this person has a Char Cadet and a Gulpin. Uh, so let's just Mach Punch you. A Mach Punch? Uh... Ew, you're bullet seeding me? Get a life, dude. Wait, no speed ups, no no speed ups. Okay, now we speed up. <laughs> I really gotta stop with the speed up button. I've lost so many things to that speed up button. Also, fun fact, we get different encounters here. Um, it's not a separate route, so I can't catch anything here. But it's good to know that we've got Frost Moth. That's definitely a holiday theme. Let's see what else is in our randomizer. 
Um, a lowland sand shrew is in our randomizer, I think. If we have normal sand shrew, I think that's how it works. Oh, we also have the ice type blitzel. I would say that counts as holiday themed. It's like the Christmas special version of normal blitzel. Let's see how we how we looking. Uh, do we need to heal? Yes. Yeah, we should be taking on a couple of gym battles in this fight as well. Ooh, electric poison? Ooh. I guess, white elephant? Yo, why do I have a feeling that white elephant is gonna kind of pop off? Uh, we get a new encounter here in the Diglett Cave. And we also get the Thief TM. So, let's see, we're looking for holiday Pokémon. Stuffle? That's a toy. It's literally the toy. It's got a tag on it. I think... Yeah. Stuffle is a toy. That's like literally a Christmas present. Um, other than that, we have a red Charmeleon. But I think it's going to be Stuffle. Or... Galarian Mr. Rhyme? That feels pretty pretty on holiday theme. It's again, it's like the Christmas version of Mr. Mime. Plus that also scratches our ice type box that um Stuffle doesn't. I think it fits a couple more things in our qualifiers. So we're gonna go with Mr. Rhyme. Wait, this thing is a psychic type also, so it might have something for me. Ice Psychic. This should be a pretty safe bet. I don't think I'm going to have anything to kill you either. There we go. Alright, we'll just quick ball you? No. I thought. Uh, let's just go for tackle. Roleplay, what does that do? Ooh, you have Magician. Interesting. Uh, it's a bad ability. Come on, buddy. Yeah! Let's see, I'm gonna name you Tumnus. Uh, from Narnia. Mr. Tumnus. Now we get a couple more encounters in Peter City, and then it's freaking gym leader time with Faulkner and Brock. So we're making some good proggy. Gumi. Ooh, Snow Runt can evolve into Frostlass. That feels like a very holiday Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. Snow Runt feels good. Let's check the daytime. This is going to be a tough challenge to get through, I think, especially if we're doing permadeath. There's just not a lot of good Pokemon that we have right now. <laughs> uh, let's click ball you, yeah. And it is female, so we can evolve it into Frostlass, which is dope. Um, I don't think I'm going to use you as one of our ghosts. Because the, the whole point of the ghosts is, like, if we have none of the above, then we can use a ghost slot for that. So, I think I'm just gonna name you, like... Oh, what's... I'm gonna name you Tempest. Because I feel like there's a lot of, like, Tempests in the wintertime, right? We get, like, a lot of squalls and stuff. But that is a new catch. I keep meaning to wow after our catches, and I keep forgetting. But yeah, I just recently got the soundboard with all sorts of fun sound effects on it. Uh, so definitely leave me a comment on like some fun sounds that I should be adding. Uh, I'll see if I can find it. I tried finding a good Among Us one, but the quality on them wasn't great. I'm gonna have to do some digging. Uh, we do have an egg here, but we can't hatch it until we beat Brock. Actually, let's, let's level these guys up. 
Um, we might as well. Because we are fighting a flying type gym leader in approximately 14 seconds. And we might as well have the best Pokemon we have for it, right? Lots of ice shards. Lots of icy winds. I love to see it. Ooh, confusion I will happily take. Uh, this actually might be niche and fun. So I'm going to keep roleplay for now. All right, and let's go to the Pokemon Center. And we're going to nature up here. We are fighting a Rufflet, a Flittle, and a Watch Roll. So first off, let's just pick the best Pokemon we have for that. I see Flittle, and I immediately think Christmas passed. You've got to come. For Watch Roll, I need something that can take a hit and resist the electricity, so I think Sawsbuck is pretty good. Hey, Rudolph, you're probably getting boxed, in all honesty. In all honesty. Ooh. Oh, but this isn't fire immune. Also, looks like we got the hidden ability. Interesting. Uh, is it ice stone that we need? Dawn stone. We need to find a dawn stone. I think we don't get that for a while, actually. Yikes. Okay, but anyway, Rufflet. Rufflet, maybe we just go Qfin and roll out. Yeah, I think we got our Pokemon here. I think we got our Pokemon here. Uh, so let's set our natures. Christmas passed. I want you to be more defensive, so let's go plus defense minus special attack. Let's go Impish for you. Uh, Dasher, we've already made you adamant, I'm pretty sure, but I'm just going to double check that. Tumnus, we're going to make you modest. I think that accounts for everybody. White Elephant, let's just double check that you are Impish. Nice. Cool. Yeah, but I've been playing a lot of this game. I, I just really like the, um, the difficulty is a nice change of pace from Pokemon for me. Um, I also like that there's like a lot of variety in the game, right? Like it's essentially like running a roguelike game. Uh, because it's different every single time. Now, let's see. We, we should have, like, a Never Melt Ice. Let's give that to... Actually, we don't need that right now. Do I have a Psychic? What's it called? Twisted Spoon? I do. Actually, Wise Glasses for Tumnus. Because you're going to hit hard. Uh, let's go with, like, a... Bell tag for Christmas Pass. And I think let's go... Oh, I don't have the normal thing yet. Let's go Miracle Seed on uh, Grassy Boy Dasher over here. Ooh, actually, I just realized... should not use Dasher against the Watch Roll because it still has flying moves. So I think we just want to stick with Watch Roll White Elephant the whole time through. Uh, let's just give you a Hearthstone. Do you have those yet? Yeah. Alright, everybody's got items. Say let's go team. Type let's go team in the comments so I know that you're ready. <laughs> Alright, uh, here we go. Okay, we're not... We're not mashing. I'm just... Oh, you have Rock Smash! You wiener! You absolute wiener! And you get the defense drop, and I can't switch out. Let me know in the comments if we should be doing permadeath. That, I've... What do you think? What do you think? Ah. Uh, 
I'm gonna encore you into Rocksmith. What is up with the D-drops, my guy? Uh, watch roll. Oh, check this out. Roleplay? Give me your Volt Absorb. That was a slick play. You gotta leave a like for that play. Except it didn't even use an electric move. Never mind. You, you're not obligated. Oh my gosh. This thing is rocking my butt. Here's my butt. It's like that right now. Maybe? You stop air slashing. Uh, let's go for a sword stance here. You're flashing me. Dude. So many debuffs. Uh, we'll just go for Pursuit, I suppose. Wow. Yo, check this out. I am Poster. Get your Volt Absorb. There we go. And now I go for a Air Slash. And I flinch you because I'm better! Let's go. Now I feel like I can just stay in here against the Flittle. Oh, I only have like five though. Let's go for Air Slash, because I can flinch. You call mine, that's terrible. You speed boost, that's also terrible. Wow, dude. Come on, come on. Stop setting up on me, please. Yeah, I know you're faster. Flash! Whoa! This is gonna knock me out, isn't it? Oh, I live! Let's go, Snowball! Wow, Snowball really the MVP there. You know what? I just thought of a really funny bit. Normally, I name this Valhalla. But we're gonna call this our naughty list. So right now... Qfant has been caught being naughty. Maybe what we need to do to get somebody off the naughty list is we need to clear a gym leader. And then we can pick one person to take out of our naughty list. I like that. That seems holiday themed. Um, that seems appropriate. So we're going to try and take on Brock with this team without getting any more Pokemon on our naughty list. That's what we're doing. That seems fun. Because, um, like I said, the selection of Pokemon that we have is so, uh, shall I say, ass? Sorry for the bad words. Ass? Um, that I think we have to make some accommodations for the Christmas lock, right? We should have time to take on Brock in this episode. So what does he lead with? He leads with a Geodude. So again, that sounds like a nice lead. We can even swap in on the explosion into Christmas Pass. Then he's got an Onyx and an Archon. Oh, it sucks because you have Ice Shard, but I can't really use it. And you don't really have ice type moves yet. We also have Leech Seed, which we can take advantage of. And Yawn. 
because honestly, Tempest is too frail, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take chances with Truant. Like that's just asking to get set up on. Uh, until we can get an evolution with, <laughs> with Rudolph, I think he's staying in the box. Uh, but let's go take on Brock. Let's show him we mean business. Uh, and that means next episode we can get our egg encounter and we can press forward through Mount Moon. That'll be a really fun way to wrap up this week's episodes. Yeah, it is important to note that this game does have built-in sleep claws. So if you go for hypnosis or sleep powder a second time, it'll let you do the move. And then you'll lose your turn and it'll say sleep claws. So if you're playing this, <laughs> just be wary of that. I think I feel fine leading with uh, Early Bird Dasher here. Oh, we also have Double Kick to break the Focus Sashes and Sturdies. Right? Because I'm pretty sure that Brock has Sturdy Geodude. Let's double check that really quick. Uh, yeah, he has Sturdy Geodude, so I think we actually do go for that. Turn one. Let's do it. I've disabled the, f the fast, the fast didn't button. But let's see if we can get our first gym badge today. I think it will still be like, okay, yeah, we're not doing permadeaths since we're doing the naughty list, but I think we'll count it where if we get a full team wipe, that's it. That's a game over. I like that. So let's go for double kick. This should do a good amount, if not kill you. It's a good amount. Probably bulldoze. Yup, yup, yup. And I'm expecting the explosion here, so I'm gonna switch out into my ghost type, but I'm not gonna stay in on a bulldoze. Rock Tomb. Why didn't you kill yourself, dude? Hmm. This thing's speed is literally 14. What's my speed? And then I have to minus it. Ooh, I probably... I probably do get buffed now. Let's go into Squirtle because we can mock punch on the next turn. Bulldoze is still gonna hurt. Oh! Oh, okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Here's the hooked on Onyx. I feel like I live one. So let's just break your sturdy. I wish I had a flying cut. I do live one. Speed goes down, berry goes up. I went from 48 to 20. That means I lost 28. If that was a roll, I'd die. I don't want you on the naughty list right now. Who's got my highest defense? I think my imposter target is probably... Probably Archon if I can. Because if I go in on the Bulldoze now, I'm gonna get slow. Let's go for Dasher. Oh, no speed up button, no speed up button. I thought I disabled that. And actually, why don't I go for Leech Seed here? Yeah, that was a good play, Nolan. Let's go. See that? That's my back. I'm padding it. I'm padding it. And you dodged it anyway. I feel like here I can go into Christmas Past. Right? Because it's going for a pluck. Hmm. No, no, no. This is my this is my target. This is my target. Good luck, Root Beer Sip. Yes! Perfect! Okay, now I go for Rock Tomb. This should get you below half. Or just outright KO you. Okay, we're in a really good position now. Onyx, I should outspeed and be able to go for a Bulldoze here. How do I... How do I not outspeed an Onyx?
tell me, tell me why I don't outspeed an Onyx. I'm looking at the stats here, and it says uh, they are both 27. This is a fast Onyx. So obviously Rock Tomb is coming in here. Uh, I think I just go back out into Dasher. I'm doing my best to keep people off the naughty list. Bro, everybody is getting me slow. It's a good double kick. Hmm, I should at least survive another one. What does camouflage do? Actually, I think I would want to camouflage on a bulldoze, not a rock move. Oh, this is on the terrain, never mind. I thought this was the, the one that changes based off the type you were just hit by. Alright, who we got? Who we got? Out comes the Va Room. You do have the Air Balloon. You're probably going for a Toxic here. So why don't I double kick you? Pop your balloon. There's the toxic. So I should switch out here. Why don't we go out into Jingle Bell here? Uh, cause that way I can go for the psychic move on the next turn. Okay, hey, Jingle Bell kind of ate that. Hold on a second. Is this it? Okay, beautiful. I think it has one left. Yep. You, yeah, dude. I feel pretty confident just going for confusion here. Yeah. Your special defense stat is literally 0.6. So that is our first gym battle complete. Took a lot of hard work, but I'm happy we made it this far. And since that is our first badge, we get to hear our level up sound. I love Dragon Quest, so I had to I had to grab the Dragon Quest sound. You know it. But we are gonna wrap it up here. It's been about 30 minutes and I like to keep these around that time so next episode we are going to hatch our egg and head east towards Mount Moon and Cerulean City if you've liked this video please be sure to show me by liking it leave a comment maybe even consider subscribing I'm trying to get to 50 subs by the end of the year uh, and I'm almost there so please help me out but otherwise have a wonderful day happy holiday season 